Hi friends, it's Linda. I am back to show you a little Halloween journal that I made. Um, it is in my Etsy shop, Joyful Makes and Finds, and it is one of the little cuties, which for me means it's about six inches tall by five inches wide and made from a paper bag. Um, I've covered it with fabric, done a little fabric collage here. Um, it has a little um, charm and some crystals on a pin, some vintage trim, some pretty beads at the bottom. This was a dangle that I had made several years ago and as a favorite of mine, oh my goodness, I don't think I'm even in camera, I apologize. And I uh, thought it would look great at the bottom of this journal, so um, there's that. It ties with um, black lace trim. And let's get in there. On um, eyelids. Okay. Okay. Aren't these cute? It's a trick or treater die cut that I got, and I actually um, will list it in the um, the shop that I got it from in the description box. A library card and a handmade, or I'm sorry, a letter from me in this little handmade candy corn envelope. Candy corn is a kind of a love it or hate it kind of fall treat, isn't it? And I am a lover. I'm just going to tell you right now. I could eat candy corn until it makes me sick. I like it so much. <laughs> okay, and then this is some Tim Holtz uh, scrapbook paper here. And this cute little witch, you might remember her from the witch journal, um, but she is one of my favorites, so I wanted her her to be in this journal too. There's a lot of trick-or-treaters in this journal. So um, she's one of them. I'd be giving her all the candy because she's so adorable. All the candy corn. Oh, and this is fun. I have a lot of vintage stamps and some of them are in my shop. I have quite a lot in my shop. But I found this one that's The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Isn't that fun? Um, so anyway, I put that on here. Some children's ledger. This is um, my probably my favorite Halloween stamp that I have. It's Frankenstein here, and he says, "To be frank, I love Halloween." Is that fun? I love him. So every chance I get, um, he'll make it into a into a Halloween journal. So I just stuck him in this pocket here, which is a um, junk mail envelope with a pocket with a window. I just covered it in some washi tape and I used the inside of the window because I liked the pattern on the inside. I mean the inside of the envelope. And this cutie. And this little side tuck. This is some old scrapbook paper. Lots of room for journaling. This would be a fun journal to, to use um, for the month of October. If you like little journals that get you through kind of a month at a time, this would be a really fun one. Or it actually would get you through the whole fall. This is a Goosebumps, page from a Goosebumps book from my kids from when they were young. Some Braille paper with a little fabric trim. This is a um, homespun fabric that I really love to use in the fall. It's the same fabric that I used here. And this is another favorite fabric that I found on Etsy um, a couple of years ago. And I kind of use it sparingly because I just like to look at it. It's so pretty. Some old scrapbook paper. Well, this one's not so old. Actually, I think this one they may have at Hobby Lobby now that I think about it. Okay. So, I have a vintage trick-or-treating bag here, and tucked into the side of it are these cute little trick-or-treaters, Batman and Casper the Friendly Ghost. And then inside, 
of the bag is another little group of trick-or-treaters. Aren't they fun? And I just trimmed the tag with some old scrapbook paper. I love vintage trick-or-treaters. Well, I love new trick-or-treaters too, but something about those old costumes that we wore in the 60s and 70s that just make me laugh. Here's a uh, belly band that I made with some uh, Rick Rack and vintage trim. I put a little sugar skull um, charm there. And this is actually an old ATC. I used to do lots of ATC swaps back in the day. And I use a lot of the ATCs I made now, I, that I made back then as journal cards now. So, here we go. Some vintage ledger. This is a napkin. I did this in the witch journal as well, just used a napkin as a page. It's kind of fun. And I used this, or made this little um, journal tag that I die cut a little bit. And it kind of goes in on the diagonal, which is fun. And this is some scrapbook paper that I've had for a long time. And I just love every little crazy pumpkin face on there. So I've, uh, I use a, just a little face here and there. They make me laugh. And uh, this is some old music paper. And what, what I took out is the 31st lesson. So I thought that was fun because uh, Halloween is the 31st. And this is the center of the signature. And I actually had this piece of scrapbook paper that was shaped exactly like this. So I just decided to use it. I thought it was kind of fun. So I created um, these pockets. I have these, um, these are Project Life cards. And I also, in each pocket, put a piece of very old ledger from, I think it's 19... 11 or 1909 or something that I have. It's very old. I can't really use it as pages because it will, it won't hold up to binding, but I like to use little bits of it here and there in ephemera. So these little fellas tuck in the sides here and then I have um, beads in the center. This is a black cat button card with two mother of pearl shell buttons sewed on for the eyes. This is from uh, an Etsy shop that I'll credit in the description box. Here is a little pocket with a trio of different blank tags for your own journaling or decorating. This is a fabric flip. This is a vintage um, Halloween fabric here, the base of it. And then this is that pumpkin fabric that I just adore. This is some um, homespun fabric. And we have a little black cat dangling there. I'm sorry if I'm, I keep scooting out of frame here. I'm trying to beat the daylight as it's late in the afternoon, so I apologize if I'm going too fast and scooting things around too much. The Goosebumps book, some coffee dyed paper, a vintage ledger, another coffee dyed kind of graph paper. This is fun. This is an old... Um, scrapbook paper that I've had and just used little bits of and this is about the last little piece I have of it I think but it's trick-or-treaters and then this fun old um, card with this mom who would be very popular giving out those huge full-size bars of Butterfinger and Baby Ruth. I love the colors and just the nostalgia of the old images. Okay, so this is a little side tuck and I actually hand wrote a recipe on here for some Halloween Chex Mix that looks delish and calls for um, candy corn and raisins and 
sprinkles and pretzels and Chex Mix, or not Chex Mix, but Chex cereal and some white chocolate. I just tuck this in here. You can just stick it in your recipe book and use this uh, pocket to hold something else, but I just thought it was fun in there. And I loved this natural fraying of the fabric here. So I didn't, I was gonna create, I was gonna make a ruffle here, but I thought this was so much fun. I just uh, used the fabric as it was and took advantage of that edge. Okay. And this is a multi-folded um, book page that created a bunch of pockets. I have just a blank tag, this fun vintage image. So I have the, you can see that the, there's a big pocket in the very back. Then there's a pocket here. There's a pocket here. It's got this cute little kitty. Christmas kitty, or Christmas kitty, Halloween kitty. Um, this is a fun old uh, scrapbook paper too that I have and I love both sides of it. Again, I just have tiny little scraps of it left. And a little ticket there. Okay, and then this is the Tim Holtz um, paper. This is the back cover. I put this old Susie Zoo Happy Halloween. Um, this is a current brand um, postcard. It's adorable. I used to love Suzy Zoo back in the day, and I used to place orders with Current, that stationery company. I'm sure a lot of you probably did too. If you love journals, you probably have loved stationery most of your life, like I have, and cards and such. And I used to get those Current catalogs and pour over them and circle things and dog ear the pages of what I thought I would want to order. And um, so this is kind of nostalgic. Okay, so it just kind of fits in this pocket here. I have a little bit of this um, vintage fabric here with the charm that says handmade with love. And then in the, this is the back pocket, which is the back of the paper bag and it opens. And I have a tea bag in here with this fun, um, October 31st rubber stamp and I beaded the edges and it's got some pumpkin spice chai tea in here for you. So that's it. Little Halloween cutie. I'm just about finished with my um, fall and Halloween journals. I'm about ready to move on and make maybe some bigger journals because I've made a lot of little cuties in a row here. But they're so much fun. And uh, I also will get started on some Christmas journals pretty soon. It feels a little early, although my Halloween journals and fall journals were early, but it still feels a little early to me for Christmas. But anyway, if you've got any ideas of journals you'd like to see, themes, um, colors, anything, patterns that um, are of interest to you that you'd like to see journals, um, let me know in the comments. I love to get ideas from you on things to make. So anyway, that's it. Have a wonderful afternoon. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.